and welcome to another microbite. My name's Andrew. My name's Dan, and in this microbite, we're going to look at the back of the microbit, particularly at these two input devices, button A and button B. Uh, so you've got an idea for a program? Yeah, so I think it's really good to get the kids just pressing buttons and making things happen. So if we press button A, then on our LED display we should have an A. And if we press button B, I think a B. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a nice combination of input and output. Input and output, great. So, to the website. To the website. Uh, microbit.co.uk where you can make programs and you can click on create code. Let's do it. Create code. Now to keep this simple, we'll just use the Microsoft block editor in the okay, middle. I'm going to go project. new project. Uh, because this is that block editor, a bit like Scratch and a bit like other block based programming yeah, languages. Where you really can easy. Combine so where do I go first? Bricks. I want to access these uh, buttons. Well, yeah, let's talk about the inputs first, the A and B buttons. So if you click on input on the left hand side, there's mm. a category of blocks. Uh, they really have thought about, you know, making this easy to use. Yeah. And there's a green block there that says on button A pressed. Well, that looks do. like something we might need. And then in that block, we need to put what we want to do. Yeah, so um, I need to display some LEDs, I guess. So, yeah, although what we want actually is yeah. to not just light up one of these 25 LEDs, but mm. actually light up all of them to make an image. Right, so there doesn't seem to be anything in here that does that. But what but about the one underneath? The images, ah, show image. Show an image. Which I can, yeah, and that you can see straight away that does click in there. So that's that. Oh, it made a little click noise. Nice, nice. And then there's a gap. So yeah, so the offset bit we can leave. That just means uh, how much it should be shifted along. Right. Don't worry about that. Just mm. leave it as it is. And you see this brown bit here, this create image. So I reckon if I click, oh, look, that fits. You can see yeah. it lights up and it clicks in. And actually, you've got the numbers across the top and along the side, but each of those little white boxes represents one of the red LED lights on the micro bit. Right, so I'll do a capital A for Andrew. <laughs> and, oh look, you just tick them, and I, I guess if I go across like that, down there. Got to do your bar across the middle. Bar across the middle. Okay, we've got a letter A. Okay. Um, now we can test this yes. as we're going along. This can be like an example of sort of rapid development where you're testing as you go through the yeah. process of development. And, and this is this this feature we're about to show you is a really good thing if you don't yet have a micro bit. We're really fortunate we've got one. Um, but so you could do this right away now. Yeah, you can go to the website. It's live right now. So if I just hit run... Brings up a little fake micro bit. And it's got some fake buttons as well. So if I press A, I'm hoping an A is going to appear. Let's see. This would be really bad. Oh, hey! Look at that. What happens if you press button B? Oh, it stays on A. We better oh. fix that. Oh, OK. So, uh, we just need to basically recreate this code, but using different inputs and a different image. Shall I be really clever? Shall I duplicate? Yeah, you can right-click on these blocks and duplicate. Oh, look at that. And then on button B... Button B, oh, well, A and B. Oh, oh it's it's advanced. Mm. Uh, uh, and now you've just got to redo your drawing. I've got to make a B. Um, how do I make a B? Something like this? Yes. But one of the things we like about this is you can be quite creative, even within the sort of limited things you can do. You can yeah. actually be really creative. I've seen smiley faces and things from Minecraft and all yeah, sorts of Yeah, and things. I've seen a snake game and all sorts of things. Yeah. Like that. So that looks like a B. So shall we run it and see? Let's run it and see. So I press A. I have an A. I press B. I have a B. There you go. Now, obviously, we really want to test this on the micro bit. That's where the fun is. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to plug this in using the USB cable that's already connected to our laptop computer. You can see an orange light to say it's connected. And it's popped up on my computer as well, so I'm just going to close that. So we need to compile. Yeah, so we hit compile, that turns what we've done into a little program. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. You should give it a real proper name here, but uh, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to save over that one I did earlier. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. Let's go to my desktop folder, and in my computer there is my micro bit there. So I just drag and drop. Don't yeah, I? it's that easy. When you plug a micro bit in, it becomes a, a drive in Windows, a bit like a USB pen. All you need to do is put the file on there, and it will copy across. And we get a flashing orange light to show that activity is happening. Yeah, that shows the data is getting transferred from the computer to the micro bit. And actually, it starts running immediately. But as with the emulator, nothing's going to happen until we press one of the buttons. So if I press exciting. button A, we get an A. If I press button B. Get B. And of course that program continues to run. So if I press A, it goes back to A, press B. And you've got a little game. In fact, you could think of all sorts of things you could do just with all that simple sorts. input and output. And if we go back to the previous video, which is Hello World, where we changed the string, then we could have 
messages appear when you press buttons. Oh, there's so much you could do. I mean, there's that's the nice so thing much about shenanigans that, those kids <laughs> could get up to with that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that microbite. Uh, see you again for another one. Yeah. Like, subscribe. <laughs>